Hello, my name is Bart Dunaway, uh, Regional Sales Manager here at Automation Technology. And today our feature is going to be our gas over oil actuator. Due to the fact that this actuator is going to go onto a liquid pipeline, uh, therefore it couldn't have been a, a direct gas actuator, so we had to provide the power also, and are going to provide them with some nitrogen bottle racks uh, to open and close this valve. Uh, the gas over oil actuator is going to have three ways that you can operate it. It can be remotely, it can be locally, or it can be manually. Okay, the first open and close mode we're going to talk about is going to be the remotely. So um, if somebody's out in the control tower somewhere and they want to open and close the valve, it's directly wired into um, our control panel here with the solenoids. Um, they can simply click a button to open or to close it and the valve will open and close based on what they need. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and close the valve with the uh, local controls. All we're going to do is simply turn it left to close and the valve is going to close. The third option to open and close the valve is going to be our manual override, which is our hand pump right here. Um, it strictly uh, opens and closes the valve based on pumping the hydraulic fluid. Uh, gas is not involved in this operation. It's basically just going to be uh, pumping the hydraulic fluid from the top or to the bottom, whichever way you want. Uh, it'll go from the top if you want it to be closed. It'll come from the bottom if you want the valve to open. Uh, basically, it's the same setup. Uh, you have your open and close on your local controls. So if you want to open it, you'll pull the hand pump out here, close this side, start pumping, it starts to open. Close, same thing, push this in, pull this side out, and okay, it the starts way that to close. Okay, going to operate is once the gas is uh, pushed through the actuator um, and through the tanks, on the right-hand side, the gas is going to come in, it's going to come into the top, it's going to force the hydraulic fluid down, which is coming up and through here, and it's coming up into the bottom of this hydraulic cylinder, which is going to make the piston rise. Um, and then the opposite way, the gas is going to be coming in the top on the left-hand side, it's going to be pushing the hydraulic fluid in through there, where it's coming in to the top of the cylinder, and therefore it's going to be forcing the piston down. Okay, another feature that our gas over oil actuators come with is a double holding valve. So um, at any time that you have loss of power, uh, that double holding valve is going to be able to lock that cylinder into place and lock the valve into place. So it's not going to fail open or fail close, it's actually going to fail in place. Okay, so that concludes our brief summary of our gas over oil actuator. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any inquiries, you can go to our website at www.atiactuators.com or you can click on the link below. Thank you.